Hello guys, it's Ahmad Hofi and uh, today I will show you how can you use a range mapper and how it's really powerful. So, uh, first let me show you, let me tell you how uh, what's the range mapper. So the range mapper is an expressive node that allows you to remap uh, a value from a range to another. So, suppose you have a cube and a light and you want the rotation of the cube to control the light. So here comes the range mapper in handy. So this will uh, the range mapper allows you to create relations between different data types or different parameters in a really easy way. So uh, let's jump into and let's jump in uh, to Cinema 4D and see uh, what are our examples today. So our first example is uh, the one you see it here, and I want the range mapper or I want uh, uh, the wall or this wall that consists of a cube mirrored using a symmetry to open as soon as the sphere gets near it. So that's pretty basic. Let's add an espresso tag and first we want to calculate the distance between this sphere and the cube. So let's add, uh, let's, fir let's first add this sphere and the cube to the espresso editor and output the global position from them. Then we will uh, get uh, and you will add a distance node and uh, input these two global positions to them. Now we have successfully calculated the distance. Now let's add the range mapper and um, input the distance uh, value to the range mapper and we want the range mapper to remap the range of the distance to the position x of the cube so I want to say that uh, if the distance is from 500 to 200 we want the uh, position x of the cube to go from 200 to 400 for example now what to do now let's uh, input this to the position x of the cube and boom it's working now but uh, as you can see here the, um, the range mapper is still uh, changing the position according to the distance of the sphere so um, it will still change the position x up to 400 depending on the position of the sphere so before in, uh, before inputting the range mapper output to the position x we will clamp it first so we will add a clamp node from the uh, calculate menu and then we will set the minimum to 200 and maximum to 400 and let's uh, input the range mapper output to the value here and output to the position x of the cube and now boom you have an automatic door that opens and closes according to the position of the sphere so we have <coughs> we have done this in early um, one minute using the range mapper which is really powerful now let's go and see our second example so our second example is a clock we have here a hour hour and minute indicator and we want to automatically um, and want expresso to automatically animate the minutes indicator according to the rotation of the hours indicator the hours indicator so let's add an expresso tag here quickly and what we will do here is we will uh, export the rotation of the um, I think this one of the hour indicator yeah and we will remap it using the range mapper so first let's see how much degrees is an hour on this clock so it's a 30 degree so we will uh, first input the rotation to the range mapper and say that the input lower is 0 and the input upper is 30 but first you need to change the input and output range so we are working with degrees so first we need so we need to change the range to degree and then 
uh, we will say that the input upper is 30. So from 0 to 30 equals from 0 to 360. So each 30 degree of the hour indicator will be equal a full rotation or a full 360 uh, rotation for the minute indicator. And that is exactly in the real life. So that's it. And as you can see here, that's it. So uh, this is our tutorial today. I hope you guys um, found this tutorial useful. And uh, I'll see you soon, guys. Goodbye.